I've had some people ask how I developed my techniques for redirecting sharks. So I want to give credit to a couple other species that I grew up with, including beautiful, powerful horses. So horses could trample you. They could step on your toes. They could kick you and kill you. They could knock you over, almost break your nose with their face. They could bite you. And they're absolutely amazing too. So I'm so grateful that I got to grow up with them. They're generally also very silent. So it's really important to be sensitive to their body language their mood they have incredible hearing supposedly they can hear your heartbeat about four feet away and there's some studies that show that they can actually sync their heartbeat to yours which shows similar to sharks how they can pick up on kind of your energy so that's why it's really important with intention and muscle tension and I find the same with stingrays and so stingrays I would dance with them underwater in some of the places that I grew up with interacting with sharks and stingrays it helped me to broaden my awareness of other individuals around me and get that nice underwater graceful ocean flow which is so important so redirecting can actually be a very very gentle thing it's about leveraging for space for safety but it's really about moving or flowing off the side of an individual and having that respect for essentially energy transfer. So if you're excited or you're nervous or you're tense, you might get more attention versus if you're very calm, then generally the animals are gonna pick up on that and maybe be less interested. Guys, I just heard about 64,000 wild Mustang horses that might get slaughtered. I'm gonna put the information in the caption. I'm looking into it right now. Hopefully you can help stop it.